Alrighty, well, ladies and gents, very rarely in my time on YouTube have I been able to do something that's like a huge throwback anniversary. I'm currently celebrating my 15-year anniversary as a YouTuber, and incidentally, it is also the 10-year anniversary of my original playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V, of which I never did or completed a second playthrough, all right? This is a game that when it came out, people were absolutely insanely hyped over. They were just out of their minds crazy for it. And the funny part about it was everyone thought that it was going to be the story mode that was going to be crazy good. I mean, it was, but really what ended up taking off was online, right? Much later, once it came out and then it caught on and ended up making billions of dollars for Rockstar. And that's why in the last decade, we haven't gotten any add-on DLC for the story mode of GTA V, nor has there been a new GTA. I mean, did you really think that any of us think that when we played this game in 2013 that we'd be like, it's 10 years later and there's no new GTA, right? I mean, <laughs> that's pretty insane. Anyway, being that it is my anniversary, we're doing a series of kind of throwback events over the course of this summer of 2023, and this is one of the things people wanted to see. So what a difference. You're going to see, you know, now I'm a live streamer, full-time live streamer with face cam, uh, interacting with my audience, a very different style than what it used to be when I was basically isolating myself and pretending like I was by myself playing a game and just doing that old style of commentary, trying to fill all dead air and stuff like that. You know, I'm not like that anymore. So we're going to see how it goes. Now, the other thing, I am nervous about music, and I already said to my audience, I don't care about the music, but, you know, I, it's not that I care about, like, for example, g losing ad revenue on these videos. Ad revenue is such a negligible thing for me. I, it's not a big deal. But the problem now is actually just getting this stream viewable and not getting it blocked on YouTube and also letting the videos be viewable and not get blocked or, or muted on YouTube. So I don't know if there is a streamer mode in the game or not. We're going to have to try to figure that out on the fly. Also, just for the record, it's incredibly hard to figure out how to get the Xbox Series X version of this game. It just was added to Game Pass in the last like one or two weeks. So I went to do it and it kept forcing me to download other versions. First, it somehow downloaded the Xbox One version, which apparently is the wrong version. And now it seems to have downloaded GTA Online. But as you can see on this screen, when you go to, to say, oh, I want to play the, the story mode, it says I have it. Even though it says that all I have is online. Uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I'm not confident that, we're, that this is right, but let's find out, shall we? Let's see what happens when we boot this sucker. I'm assuming what's going to happen is it's going to give us like a menu system to figure out what we want to do. Maybe we can do some options. Because remember, in the original story game, it booted up just the story. Like, you had no option to do anything else. You had to start the story right away. So I'm hoping that this version, they've updated it. Let's find out. Yeah, Chris B says he'll help, it help get... Oh, here we go. Account picker... Or Dark Side Phil. Well, I'm dar I want to be Dark Side Phil. I wanted the default display calibration. Okay, they did change it. They changed it so now you have settings and you can choose what you want to do right away. That is excellent because in the original game, it would just boot right into the story without even giving you an option to do anything. I mean, you couldn't even turn on subtitles. How stupid was that? All right, so here we are. I'm going to use all the default controls. For audio, we've got dialogue boost, voice chat, retain radio volume. I think we should fade radio volume when they're talking in the car. Uh, camera, probably all defaults, right? Display, fidelity, or performance. Uh, oh, there's three. The fidelity, performance, RT, or regular performance. I don't know the difference. Uh, does anyone know? Well, let me turn on subtitles. Does anyone have any clue what the difference is between those three? Certainly, I want performance. Oh, ray tracing? Do we care about ray tracing? So, performance mode, performance with ray tracing, or pure fidelity? Obviously, we want performance. Should we try performance ray tracing? And if it ends up being, like, dropping frames, then go back to standard performance? Because I want 60 frames for sure. Yeah. We'll, all, we'll try performance ray tracing. Radar HUD, all that's fine. Not gonna mess with any of this. Uh, motion blur. Oh, wait a minute, for audio. Oh, it doesn't even have like style of audio because sometimes it would ask you, oh, do you want headphones or do you want TV? It doesn't even ask, so. Uh, Rockstar editor, what the hell? YouTube uploading, what the hell does that mean? I'm not uploading. Phone alerts, stats alerts, crew updates. 
I'm not going to be with any crew. I'm not going to have any friend updates. I don't care about the social club. I don't care about Microsoft Store. I do want tooltips and stats and phone. I don't want the other crap. I don't want any social shit kind of mess with my playthrough. Okay. All right. By the way, there is no streamer mode, right? Because some people are saying, oh, this game has a streamer mode. There's no streamer mode. As you can see, it doesn't exist. So all we can do is either leave it on or off. What do you guys think? Joe Man says, turn it off. What do you guys think? Music on or off? Do we do we dance with the devil? Or, uh... Because, <laughs> again, I, want, I don't... My concern, again, I don't want the stream to get shut down. And I don't want the playthrough to get muted or blocked. And no one can watch it. What's the point of playing this game ten years later if I can't have you watch it? Right? Wow, everyone is saying off. Wow. You guys really just say fuck it. Everyone just turn it off. I don't know, man. Wait a minute. Can't you, um... No. Maybe you can only do it in-game. Because didn't there used to be an option that you could default the radio to being off and you could manually turn it on if you wanted to? But I don't see that here. I swear that used to be an option in the other GTAs, right? You could boot it up to a certain station. You could have it, like, booted up to nothing. Huh. Yeah, a lot of people are saying just don't take risks with the copyright system. <sighs> well. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere else, right? No. It's not there, so. Well. What are you going to do? Or I could really lower the music volume. Not that that's going to work. Oh, the talk show radio channels are the worst because the talk show radio channels are already uploaded and owned by Rockstar and they claim that shit on YouTube too. I know it for a fact. We can turn it on, but if it gets fucked, it gets fucked. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't fix it. There'd be nothing I can do about it. If this stream goes down, if the video gets blocked, I can't fix it. You understand that? It's just going to ruin it. <laughs> All right. I also forgot what music is in the game. I don't remember any music from this game at all. You know? Then again, I only played it once, but I literally don't remember a single song, right? No, it was not fine in the GTA collection. The GTA collection had several videos blocked worldwide, and I had to try to either mute or, or edit out the music, and it was a nightmare. So, no, it did not work. <laughs> well, what do you think? That all the way? Screw it, no music at all. Silent GTA 5. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. All right. Uh, I don't know what GTA Plus is. Never heard of it. So I guess we're doing... Okay, here we go. We're going to boot her up. It says resume the story, even though I haven't booted the story. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I remember they toss you right into the action. Alright, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! You'll get worse than hurt! Hey! Hey! Ah, come on! The heist! And I said you can play in first person if you want. I'm not gonna play in first person. Come on! Come on! Christmas! It looks weird. It looks it looks too good almost, right? Get in there. Sit tight. I'll handle it. Time, it kinda to me it kinda looks like too good. Like you're not expecting GTA to, to look that good. By the way, let me make sure that the uh Get these assholes in the Let me just test something real fast. I wanna make sure the frame rate's correct, so hold on. I'm just gonna do a little fuck up fuck around here. All right, that should fix it. If there was any frame rate issues, that should resolve them. I said okay. the closet. Get them in there. Come on. Get them in the closet. How do I get them in the closet? By doing this. What is the problem? Why are they still out here? You were meant to lock them down. I was in fucking the with the game. Come Shut on. up. I didn't do shit to you. Subtitles are borked. They're not working. I had them on. Did I not turn them on? Subtitles on. If they're borked, they're borked. It's the game. 
I have them set to on. All set. Phone it in. I'm making the call. Oh, okay. Hold on. Get rid of that. Now you can see them, right? There you go. He's making the call. Eat the pizza. We gotta do this. Contacts. Select. Detonate. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Show me the money. Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. Hold down A to run. I'm trying to remember the controls. It's been a while since I played this. Walk back here. Oh, it's in there. I ran right by it. Oh, there it is. Two thousand dollars. That's it. There's some money. Grab it. We're just taking the non-sequential notes. Oh, I can only grab certain certain money, like that one on the floor. I can't grab it all. Uh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. Depends on how you look at it. Come on, move it. Now shoot your partner. Keep it for yourself. Come on out, me. <laughs> Give it up. I got him. I saw your face. I'll remember you. You could get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes. He's crazy. No one's crazy. I think. Be cool. That's right, pal. Okay. Start recording or turn on action replay. No, I'm not going to start turn on action replay. But I am going to do this. It'll be quick. You didn't have to do that. Let's get going. There'll be time for grieving later. That's Trevor. Right. Trevor's crazy. Come Trevor's on. the guy, he has absolutely nothing wrong with killing people, hurting people, torturing people. He doesn't give two shits. He basically has no human empathy and no moral compass whatsoever. Okay. I'm setting the charges. They're on a timer, so break yourself. Just fucking perfect. Oh, fuck, you hear that? All right. Siren, fuck the cops. T, hit the shutter switch. Fuck What's the police. That? Local resistance. Five stars. Like this. It never is. Come on, go. That's right. right. Walk right in front of my line of fire. That's pretty amazing that he did that. Right when I was firing, too. I ain't down for them. Get down. Don't be as dumb as you look. What happened? He died? How did he die? I was... You mean... I guess it's me, but... How did I die? I was in cover. <laughs> I guess I'll get to a different cover then. I guess that cover wasn't very good. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die for even right. Shot right is nuts. How do you reload? I forgot. B. Okay. Fuck these guys. Can we make the cars blow up? Well, that guy wasn't too smart. He ran right out of, out of cover. Right to fucking, can I blow up the car if I shoot the gas tank? You shouldn't have been a cop. We keep going forward. No? Gas tank doesn't what blow it up? What the fuck is this? Get out of the way or suffer the consequence. I'd like to blow it up. I don't think it works. No, it doesn't seem to work. I guess they Get removed that from the game or something. It wasn't the previous ones. Wrong profession. Where'd this guy go? Press forward. Uh, Come on, guys. Man, Why the controls. I forgot how here? weird they are. They changed them up in this move, one. It's actually move, less. Move. It's a little like more like uh, cinematic. And a little bit like you have, it feels a little floaty and stuff like like you're almost like it like it's hard to explain. But like in the other ones, like you move fast, you're snapping the things real fast. You can't really do that in this one. I think they made the animations a lot more elaborate and everything. Can't be many more cops in this town. Bring them. Killing everyone, killing the whole town. I got my share. It's still wide open. Cars up here. Let's go. Move. Come on. The kid might have failed. This wasn't in the job description. 
So the getaway man ran, huh? Exactly. It's more like Red Dead Redemption. Exactly right. It plays more like that. It's more about cinematic cinematic stuff than it is about the actual combat being like challenging or responsive. A little different. But you get used to it. Damn, these podunk cops are not very good. They don't even know how to get out of their car while it's under fire, right? Like they have no idea. Let's go. Let's move it. Oh boy. Damn! Slaughtered them before they even got out of their cars. Ouch. I'm stuck in the snow! <laughs> I started trudging through heavy snow. Ludendorff. We are... Welcome to Ludendorff. Home of the Midwest Biggest Beaver. So this is something that's going to be different. You know, they changed all the textures. So now everything in the game will probably be like high-res textures and stuff, which is kind of neat. Like if you look at... Yeah, look at that. If you look at the, the car door. You can actually read it. Oh god, I can't read it. It's not English. It's... Wait a minute. It's backwards. Look at the logo. The logo's on backwards. It does it says North Yankton, but it's backward. Why the hell is it backwards? Here it is forwards. North Yankton Pat State Patrol. But that's weird that on this door it's backward. That's something you probably never would have noticed in the original game, but now that we're in the better version, Xbox Series X, now you'll start looking at shit and be like, oh god. Yeah, look how cool it looks out there. It looks very realistic, right? All right, here we go. Jeez, what took you so long? Shut the fuck up and drive. Whoa, did you see that shit? Fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah. This guy, this sicko. Oh, he got shot. Trevor's got a hole in his fucking chest. Oh, shot right in the head. Boosh. Oh, now we're driving. First time. Whoa, 60 frame driving in GTA 5. Gotta get used to this. Wow, this looks good. This looks real good on the series. Look at the lighting, right? Look how good the lighting is. It has the ray tracing. Wow, it looks really good. Nice reflections on the road and everything. That's really cool. So much better than the Xbox 360 version I played on 10 years ago. Woo! Damn. You guys all right? They got wrecked. Come <laughs> on. Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No, hey, stick to the plan. What? What the fuck? Is it blood the all over his head? Plan. Ew! He's supposed to have that giant bloody spot on his forehead like that? I don't know. Ew. Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. A sniper. Damn. The crime so much. I mean, I guess not that mass murder is acceptable in any way, but the fact that he's also murdering all these cops. And jeez. Kill me, you pricks! They come. No. 
So he's the one that they got on mass murder of cops and he gets away. Huh. What an intro. I mean, action-packed intro, right? Pretty crazy. I got some shout-outs to do, but let's get through the intro first. Did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. Our Lord was crucified. Perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin, and we die in sin. This yep, that's right. I remember this game came out September 2013. Right before the new gen consoles came out, they came out, uh, you know, October, November. So I played this before the new consoles were out. I played it on the last gen, or it was one of the last games on that last gen. And everyone did. It was a trick. They did it on purpose because they knew everyone was going to rebuy it. So everyone bought it on Xbox 360 or PS3. Then everyone bought it again on Xbox One or PS4. It was a, it was a marketing ploy. They did it on purpose. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. Why? Does he help the fucking Why? <laughs> no. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? I shrink. What about me? Bob Ross. I didn't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. Ha <laughs> ha! I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right <laughs> fucking here. <laughs> the end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit oh I'm living a dream baby and that dream is fucked it is fucking fucked let it all out <laughs> I think I just did oh well I think that's all we have time for audio's low I'll make it louder the same time there you next go. week I guess I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Mm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Oh, of course it is. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. The question is, being involved in that crazy-ass heist that went wrong, right? What is the actual details of the deal that he made i don't know like has it ever really revealed in the entirety of the game what deal he made with the cops or whatever or the prosecuting attorney that he would have a life of, of being like witness protection but the other ones did not you know what i'm saying like i don't know i don't know if it's ever explained because in what situation would you be able to participate in a heist like that with all those deaths with all those cops getting shot but he gets away with it basically right Walking down the a beach in a suit. Huh. He's the only one in the suit. <laughs> I know just how you feel. Man, shit gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another grave. There they are. Fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, won't you come on? <gasps> Actually, yeah. It's that house right there. The yellow stairs. Yeah. Good look now, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn. Why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking home? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Do some sky riding and reads. There's a couple of niggas here about to boost some cars in case. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at Franklin. Dude, Franklin looks completely different, doesn't he? Like his face? I think they redesigned his whole face. That looks like he's like super detailed now. Because Michael looks the same, but Franklin, like that, he looks completely different to me. What you don't realize is we ain't Holy shit. This shit is legit business. Legit? 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Huh? Look at all the detail. He was I used to say like he was like he was like he was like kind of poorly rendered in the original game. I they must have remodeled it. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie. Looks great. Spin not right here. Your boy Simeon was bullshit. Man, get your ass in me. Huh? Bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Oh. All right. So. Damn. This nigga must got the baby dick. Yeah. I want to look at the detail of everything in the yard. Well, it looks good, right? Like look at the cactus. The sign looks new. Oh, look at kitty. <laughs> Kitty's running to the yard meowing. Everything looks good. Like they actually put an insane amount of detail in the game now. Holy shit. There's even, if did you see the lens, like the, uh, what do they call that, depth of field? The game has depth of field, too, because it's blurry, depending on how much you're looking. Wow, they, uh, they went crazy with this on Xbox Series X. I don't know if the Xbox One version has all this. There's a lot of, uh, different features oh, added. Come to daddy. Which one you want, nigga? Oh, that's right, they're stealing the cars, right? Eh, it, honestly, if I had a choice, I would take... The, the this car, the white car. I don't know. I was never a big fan of like red cars on, in my life. I would like. The, I think the white one looks nicer. You always was old choosy motherfucker. Oh, you falling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. We got a race, right? By the way, I know I have shoutouts to do, but I'm kind of in the intro segment, so let's do this first. Woo! Let's get used to the driving controls. 60 frames driving controls, baby, with ray tracing. Right up here, homie. I'm oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Whew. I didn't wreck. I didn't wreck. All right? I lasted at least 20 seconds. I didn't wreck. Oh, shit. Franklin's ability. Yellow bar above the radar says Franklin's special ability. The what? The yellow bar above what? Above the radar? I mean, there's no yellow bar above the radar. What are they talking about? Oh, oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to look for a yellow bar above the fucking radar. God damn it. <laughs> Where do you see a yellow bar above the radar? There's bars below the radar. There's no fucking bar above the radar. Come on, get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to follow my friend, you idiot. It's a fucking intro to the game. Get the fuck out of the way. All right. Honk, honk. Oh, no. How do you honk? Left thumbstick. Okay. Look at that, assholes. Let's show these movie people how we roll. Woo! Movie. Oh, we're hitting the movie studio. Ha ha ha! Look at that. Whoa! Ha ha ha! That's awesome. Hey, hey! Down this alley here. Look out! Look out! Look out! Whoa! Nice. Hey, I come at you from the shoulders, homie. Joyride. Oh shit! Lost control. Oh, fish tailing everywhere. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh! I had a little dinger there. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm sure they'll come right out. Oh, 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 oh! Look at my paint. Look at the paint on the car. It's all fucked up. Woo! Whoa! Oh! Okay, I'm using the special ability. And it's, they were wrong. They said it was above the radar. It's not, it's below. So when you use that special ability, you, you slow down time so you control the car better. Okay. That's how you do it. You little dick niggas do like the little cars. Shit, I heard you talk, homie. You big everywhere except where it counts. Fool knock it off. Wow, looks great. How we let Tanisha decide that? She definitely ain't dumb enough to fuck with your ass. I mean, they did have like 10 years to make it look better, so I get, yeah. <laughs> In 10 years, you could probably perfect the visuals of your video game, just saying. Oh boy. This is a hell of an intro segment. Headlights. Look at that. I gotta remember all these controls. They're very complex controls in this game. Oh shit! Hey, screw you too, homie. I'm gonna make a withdrawal, homie. Dumb whoa, whoa. I'll drive backwards. Here you go. God damn, look at the side of my car. I fucked it all up. Damn it. 
Oh shit, he went this way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, bitch. When you gonna learn how to move something? <laughs> I'll show you how to move something, nigga. Oh shit, the one time. Oh boy. Cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. No. Explain that shit, my ass. Who's the cop? Oh shit! He hit the hit the brakes. <laughs> whoa, 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 boy! Lord, there we go. All right, the top. Oh shit! Oh no. I'm on the train tracks. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess this is one way to lose them. I didn't mean to get up here, but I, I'm kind of stuck now. Right? Whoopsie. I pulled a whoopsie doodle. Uh, okay. I think we're all right. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh no. Oh no, I lost him. Woo! We drove on the train tracks. All right. Take the car back to the dealership. Let's do that. When we get to the dealership, I'll do shout outs because there is a, some shout, some uh, contributions to shout out. Oh, God. There are some contributions to shout out. <laughs> but I've been in the intro segment. I've been enjoying it, so I didn't, I didn't want to distract myself here. Oh, my God. Look out. Oh, no. Road work. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Stunt jump fail. God damn it, I failed. Damn. Garbage truck. How'd he see me? How did he see me to hit the horn? I was coming from his side, periphery. Dude, I like the graphics. I'm actually really enjoying these graphics. 60 frames with the ray tracing looks pretty sick, right? Look at the fidelity in the city and everything. Look at the same detail. Everything has reflections on it. Everything has like detail to the signs and everything. Like there's nothing that looks low res at all so far in the game that I've noticed. They did a really good job with this. Yeah, pretty impressive. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-nazi. The... You are all the same. You're disgusting. <clears throat> this racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Uh... But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue. Eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. I love this. He has a tattoo on his neck. This is entitled. What a loser. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Samuel. I'm out. I'll holler at you, homie. It's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? There he goes. And of course, we know who that was because we played the game. Sure. But originally, you don't know who that is. That's a character in the game right there in the car. They're going to keep talking. So this is the car dealership. You can actually come back here later for, I think, their story. Are there story missions? Do you buy cars from here? I'm trying to remember. I think there's oh, first achievement. Welcome to Los Santos. You repo the car and race it through the heart of a sun-soaked no, metropolis. No. Indeed, no, I did. Too much All right. You need oh, to and we got, uh, that's right, the entire playthrough, I'm going to be getting uh, Game Pass points. Forgot about that. All right, before we proceed, <clears throat> let's do shout-outs, okay? So, first of all, Ed Williamson had done a super chat and said, backwards text, the game is glitched. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's glitched. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Or if they were just using the same texture on identical doors and somehow it got flipped. I'm not sure. But thank you, Ed. 
And then on the tips side of things, we got a, uh, let's see here, a dollar tip. Uh, from an anonymous tipper, performance RT doesn't hit 60 frames on my Series X. It's up to you whether or not you want ray tracing to hit with performance. It was, it's definitely was hitting 60. That was smooth, buttery 60 when driving through the city. I didn't even notice a frame drop. Now, I don't know about you, what you guys saw on the stream, but that looked really smooth to me. So, I'm definitely, you know, for now, I would keep it on that. I mean, if it really gets, becomes an issue later, then we'll switch it to the, just the standard performance without the ray tracing, but that looked really good to me, and the lighting looked pretty sick. <clears throat> okay. And then I received a $15 tip from Chris B. I really want to hit the hat goal tonight. Loving hanging with you for this legendary game. Good to have you. Good Everyone who's here, we have a very high attendance on the stream tonight, by the way. More attendance than we've had since, like, the launch of Street Fighter Six last month, which is excellent. Thank you guys for being here. Um... It's awesome, isn't it, to, to be able to re-enjoy a game like this from like a decade ago, but in a different way, right? A different, different, you know, interactive audience. I know a lot of you probably watched it on demand back in the day because the streams weren't even that big of a deal back then. Uh, so many of you probably watched this playthrough slowly over the last decade. It's cool now to be able to play it again with improvements and everything. I mean, it looks so good. Right now, I'm blown away by it. I mean, frankly, it looks completely different. His whole facial model is different. Ray tracing, sweet, right? Everything's good here. So, all right. So thank you, guys. Now... If you're wondering who he was talking about, if we hit $100 in tips on the stream, I'll put on a hat. And I have the Los Santos cap from the collector's edition of this game 10 years ago to put on if we happen to hit the tips goal for tonight. So if we hit that tonight, great. Right now, you know, we'll see what happens. We're at uh, 37, okay? Okay. Tips goal is 100, by the way. All right. Ready to continue? Oh, let's see here. Andy, I'm well aware of that, but it didn't... We already talked about it earlier. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Uh... The confusion about the version I'm playing. Uh, Beastbot, thanks for telling me about Packy. I feel like we're way too early. He says it happens early but easy. Oh, to get Packy McCreary, you save him and his crew member at a store near Franklin's house with a four-seater car. It happens early on. Oh, does it? Maybe I missed it in my original playthrough. Hmm. Zeladon did a super chat. Says, I'm a Kami main in Street Fighter Six. What tier is she? I think she's top tier or just under. She seems insanely good to me in that game. That's my take. I, mean, I haven't used her, but every time I play her, it's like... She just has so many things. But again, we're not going to talk about Street Fighter 6 too much tonight. We're playing GTA. All right? All right. All right. Let's continue. Where is the car? Where is the car that we're leaving in? Over here? Over here. This is your real car. Each playable character has their own unique vehicle. Okay. He has a nice car. Right? It's a pretty fucking sweet car. What's it supposed to be? What is it representative of in real life? What car is it supposed to be? Right? This chump change. How I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas eye? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise with all that ass dick she got ass. Wow. She grown. Yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. No, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my woman. <laughs> I'm sure. Alright. Wow, look at this. Wow. Gabriella's market. Look at it in full dude, it just looks so good. Remember, play ten years ago, this was all like 720p or lower, and half the shit had no detail on it at all, right? Was, like look how realistic this shit looks. Everything has something on it. Look at the post. Just look at this. Hold on a second here. Hey, get in the rock. Look at this. How do you do first person? Lost cock. Guys. He ran out of the coop yesterday. His name is Evan. Two years old. He is smaller than... I can't read that. We have to find the lost cock. Alright? But just look. Everything has writing. I mean, yeah, it's kind of blurry. But everything has writing. Look at this. A lost chihuahua named Sparkle. Age 1.5 years. Color mink. See? Everything has detail. How about some exotic dancing lessons? Would you like to get some of those? Or how about a porn site that requires actresses? <laughs> Alright. So, I mean, that's the unique charm of GTA, obviously. But, I mean, everything has something on it now. It's so cool looking. Hey, girl, what up? Look how real it... Oh, dude, I can't get over how good it looks. Hey, I really can't. No Beastbot says, Packy is a random event. 
Most people end up shooting him thinking they're saving the store owner. He can end up earning Michael double money on the first heist. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, I wonder I wonder where it is. Uh, I got a $2 tip here. From Chris B. again. For Packy, go to a dollar pill store south of the car wash on the map. He'll be there after the first Simeon mission early on. So, basically, you have to have a four-door car, door car. And it has to be after a Simeon mission. Well, we haven't done any mission with Simeon yet. So, I don't have to worry about that yet, I guess. Yeah, I definitely missed Packy in my first playthrough. I didn't even know how to do it. I think I had the guide, but I don't even know if the guide explained it. Okay. Oh, really? Tito Man says there's an achievement if you play in first-person mode for a full Man, 15 hours. Wow. Like Police! Here we go. Beautiful. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Nah. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you'd get some bitches <laughs> on your head. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucked Damn. with. Damn. Nigga. Wow. That was pretty harsh. What? That was his friend. He destroyed him. <laughs> he fucking destroyed him. Ooh, honey. God damn. <laughs> He here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Show, show, get on out of here. Okay, baby. The fuck is she watching? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. God damn, freeloader. Sleeping on the bed saves the game and advances time. That's how you can change the time of the world. Okay. Save your progress at any time off mission using the quick save button on the phone. Oh, okay. Clothes can be changed at your wardrobe. If you have more, I guess we have to buy more, right? Buy buy more for each. Oh, my God. It's got the freaking... It's supposed to be... What was it? Uh, Hope. The Obama Hope poster. But it's got a, a spin-off mad. I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right, so the first mission passed. John Marston is now available. We gotta go get John Marston. We gotta get his ass in the game right now. Here you go. You see yourself perfectly in the mirror. Look at that. Feel, so, a real working mirror for once in a video game. It never happens. I don't think we have any clothes we can change, right? Outfits. Oh, he does have out default outfits. Oh, cool. How many of these were in the original game? I don't remember. Let's put them on. Let's do this. There we go. Changes clothes. Maybe every time we go here. That's Mad Dog, the rapper from San Andreas. Oh! That's the original rapper, right? Isn't that the one that he got basically kicked out of the, the rap community because of that other, the newcomer? They, the newcomer stole his mansion. It was the guy from the fast food place, right? That you help, and then later on you help, you kick, throw him out and you get the mansion back for Mad Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Los Santos owns you. Just, just, dude, just look at all the stuff in his room. So detailed. Look at the great lighting coming through the blinds there. That's ray tracing right there. You see that the the detailed shadows and stuff. That's neat. What does that CD say? Oh, you can't go. Oh, here you go. It says backup 2010. There's the Mad Dog album, the Mad House, Corner. Killers? The Corner Killers. Sports Almanac, Yearbook 2010. I guess that was that's his ex right there, right? He still has a picture of her. Interesting. Alright. Alright, cool. Alright, let's uh Investigate. Ah, I will save the game by pressing right, you said? Oh, I was going to do that. It didn't work. Oh, you have to be near the bed. Okay. He lays down. All right, our new first save. Play through here. The game does autosave as well, right? I'm pretty sure it autosaves. Do I enjoy being sentient? No, I hate it. Man, I wish that I was just... Like a, you know, a like a cow chewing his cud, not really thinking about too much. So make yourself scared. Box fan. 
What do we got here? Oh, for a cheap freebie first aid if you need it. Probably always here, right? If ever you come back here, you can fully heal yourself. I want some uh, strawberry rails. What in the fuck is a strawberry rail? Ooh, I'm getting a call from Simeon. Franklin! Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, All right dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Derek, yes, people love to co copy your messages in chat. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and ban 400 people, but uh, if people get too insulting or whatever, I'll take care of it. Like that one guy who I just banned. Holistic healing with crystals. Oh, no. She's one of the weirdo New Age crystal people who believe that crystals have mythical energies that can heal your body. Oh, no. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give a call to Gwyneth Paltrow. Is that it? We're supposed to leave now? I guess we go do the mission. So you live what you're on, huh? Very exciting. Are those real candles, or are they supposed to be the electric kind? Oh, uh, no, that looks real. That looks like a real candle. Okay. Cool. Am I cooking for you tonight? The fuck do you think? Stunt plane time trials are now available. Oh, I gotta go right to the stunt plane immediately. It's the first thing I always do. How were Vice City and Liberty City stories? Uh, I remember enjoying the plot, but man, they were like buggy games. Remember how many bugs they had and glitches and things? There was a lot of problems with those playthroughs because the games were just not functioning properly. All right, so now we basically have freedom to do uh, you know, stuff in the city. How do I zoom in here? Uh, how do I? Why is it flickering? Why the hell is the screen flickering? That's really, that's actually annoying me. Hide menu back select. How do I zoom? I can't zoom in out of the map? Oh, there we go. Yeah, why is the screen flickering? Dude, that's annoying, huh? Oh. So, that's that's the story mission. There's nothing else to do right now. We have a few activities around here if you want to go to like Get your hair cut. Gun store. I don't know if they'll even let you buy guns at this point. I don't think you have enough money. Ammunition right there. Oh, look. There's a park down there. Yeah, fairground rides you can ride. Yeah. Why is it free? Why is it flickering like that? Right? That is very odd to me that it's flickering like that. Alright, well. There's our mission. Packy? Okay, you can do Packy right now. You can. That's weird. Why would you be able to do it right now? We didn't even do a, a mission yet in the game. Wow, look at the sky. Sweet. Wow, things really... Oh, wow. Things really changed for night, huh? Wow, look at that. Oh, that's cool. You'll do the first Simeon mission then. Okay. So not Packy yet. After the next mission. Alright. Holy crap. I really like it. I really like it, man. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not exaggerating. Like, look at that moon. Timmy's flowers. The Ring of Fire Chili House. Yeah, you're gonna have a Ring of Fire after you eat there. Liquor store. And of course, today I'm, I'm capturing and streaming at a much higher bit rate than I ever did 10 years ago. So this must look really good for you guys too on stream, right? It looks super duper good here on my TV. Yeah. All right, have a good night. Shit, the door doesn't open here? I guess we gotta go through the front door. The back door's locked. Why am I walking so slow? Hurry up. Yes, have a good night, Derek. No, Arkham, I don't know if you're aware of this. They did redo the textures and details of the game. Because Arkham's saying, oh, it probably just looks better because you're playing on uh, two consoles later. I mean, yes, that is true. But they did significantly improve the details of the game as well. I'm stuck. Why is he walking so dang slow? 
Hurry up. Why isn't the door open? I can't get in. It's locked. They won't let me in. I can't get in. Look. <laughs> I can't get in. Oh, here it is. This is where you're supposed to get. Right here. All right. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy. So good to see you. So good. Simeon. Oh, That's what he calls him. Simeon. Yeah, look, look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. Duh. Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together. <laughs> I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like me. <laughs> no, of course. No. Ah. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar. Steve? What's up, bro? What's up, you know? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? The Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this employee of the month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I won't. Won. <laughs> Meaningless it. thing. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say... Hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, next month, <laughs> There's only three, I, I three the employees. Reply. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made the payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. <laughs> Fuck you, and come on. He was about a yes mouse ass nigga. Let's go to Vespucci. I Let's can't get over how good it looks and how realistic it looks. So I parked I in the wrong spot. I really did. I parked. Where did I park? Over here? You drive. Here, I parked over here. Okay. I parked around the corner. I went completely the wrong direction when I parked. Okay. Alright. Well, that was a good introduction. I'm blown away by the graphics. Gotta get used to the controls. It's a totally different experience playing this 10 years later for sure. I still don't know why it flickers on the screen. That is weird. Is that a glitch? That might be a glitch that it flickers on the screen like that. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, I did it again. That's yeah, annoying. But anyway, good stuff so far. Thank you all for watching. If you are watching my 10th anniversary run of GTA 5, I would hope if you're enjoying yourself, you could give this video a like and leave some comments. What was your first experience with the game 10 years ago? Did you watch my original playthrough? What did you think? What do you think of how the game looks and performs now 10 years later on the Xbox Series X? Be sure to share your thoughts. You know, what's your favorite moment of my original playthrough? Are you looking forward to it in this one? Let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Part 2 coming up soon.